to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Crawford's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. Lopez is showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. Dressing room, let's touch gloves. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way. Solid shot. The left hand came in. Covers up nicely. Gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Crawford's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Let it go! Scores up top with a left. Last 10 seconds. Crawford's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? More than one. Don't. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Lopez is tagged by that power punch. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. <laughs> Half. 
halfway through this round here. Gotta see that come in. Let's go. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Work with the left hand by Blood. You got him. Crawford's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. hook so we come to the end of the round and clearly a confidence booster for this man he got to his opponent he was able to stun him teddy when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did do you see them almost light up like get a little boost of energy because of that yeah it does build your confidence a little bit you know it makes you feel more okay. secure okay. i can control this man i had my way stay alert Lopez, his opponent, is not seeing the damaged goods he was opposite of in the last round. This is a different fighter starting this round right here. Nice block by Blood. to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot Teddy you saw that coming you said he was waiting for that yeah what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit trying to draw that right hand pull that shoulder back be a ghost a little bit disappear on him come back with the right hand so he decides to go downstairs early on and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on well it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter his corner came in here with a good game plan they understood what they had in front of them. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Fine looking right hand by Lopez. on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Lopez is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just need you to focus and keep your hands up and keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good, I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. Está ganando. He's winning the fight. He's winning. You gotta take it to him in this round. You gotta bring it. The left hook is working good. Just take it to him. Blood's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Finish with a hook! Crawford's out there clinching, and that may tell us, as well as his opponent, 
that his legs aren't necessarily underneath him. No, and they're not. And that's why he's clinched. He's got to do more than just clinch. He's going to have to find a way to kill a little more time. Maybe grab and then walk a little bit. Walk to the other side of the ring before the referee can get there and kill some clock. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Not able to land the headshot. To the head he goes with a left hand. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Good flush shot upstairs. Lopez is banged by a left hand. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch he needed like flowers need rain. Crawford shook up there, Teddy. What a turn of events. Just moments ago, he was the one doing the damage. No other sport shows retribution right in front of you so quickly, so impactfully. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters getting tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. Keep moving side to side, all right? He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Lopez. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. And he just holds on there. Halfway into round number five here. Absolutely affected by that right hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. Lopez is down on the canvas. His opponent landed a solid uppercut. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. And clicks of the top. End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. 
A new round underway here. Lopez is hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. One, two. One, two. <laughs> Now a well-placed hook to the head. Body shot, body shot. That's it, just like that. Halfway through round six. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Lopez is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. What impact with that uppercut, uppercut. by Crawford. Uppercut. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of who's really up. I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, and what it's a testament to, Joe, is that it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Okay, listen to me. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. You got this one. Move your head. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. An accurate left by Blood. Double up on your punches. Lopez is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Jab, jab. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Halfway through the seventh round. Solid shot, the overhand left. Lopez's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Keep moving, keep moving. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Lopez. And that's the end of round seven. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Okay, breathe in. Take a deep breath.
you're losing this fight, I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count. You know, they call them the championship rounds for a reason, and we're not quite there yet. Just about halfway through this fight. Here, round number eight underway, and he's up on your scorecard, Teddy, but the toughest test is yet to come. Yeah, it's kind of like a doctor. You know, he's been working the rounds all day long, but now it becomes the night time. You know, the emergency cases are going to come in and stuff. Can he keep that concentration? Can he take care of the patients at the same level he did yes, earlier in the day? Trading blows. One, two. Blocks that belt line well. Crawford showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, it make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Lopez is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Crawford's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. End of the round, around, end of the round, around, I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he I, up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. You are winning this fight. He's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy, all right? Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round. What has been a Lopez has been hurt by that shot. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Lopez is missing punches here. Now, the good news is he's throwing punches. But Teddy needs to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. He should throw them downstairs. This guy's moving his head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find them upstairs. Now hugging on the inside. Nice! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Another clinch. <laughs> Solid left hand to the head. Lopez is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Crawford's crushed by a huge uppercut. Final chance, last 10 seconds of nice. round nine. Nice.
this has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. What did I tell you? Yeah. Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Lopez's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner nice. to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. Really frustrating his opponent now. Crawford so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Blood's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Lopez has got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Head and body, head and body. Let it go. A solid true uppercut by blood. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. Accuracy an issue there, didn't land that straight right hand. Relax. And then we need a knockout. We got it. You don't knock him out, we go home with nothing. All right. well, we need is water up there. Breathe. 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 You don't need that. No, throw that away. You're doing great. You're doing fine. Really, really doing great. So just keep working on the inside. Come up with the up. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. Start of round number 11, and I start to question right now how much he has left in him. I know this is a close fight. As we look at your scorecard, it tells that. But it doesn't look close when you look at both guys right now. No, it doesn't. But it's up to him to find that place. He's found it before. Dig down. This is what it's about now. Dig down and go to it. Unload! Good defense, just covering up down low. Jump on Not him. much action nice. as he just ties up. Go, go. Back to the body. Come on, baby. Oh. Halfway through this 11th round. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. Crawford, a harsh left hand by Blood. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked down, out? Side side. Yeah, he did. Oh. Because he didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was he fighting on instincts the rest of the night. Amazing story. Nice 
Nice work, nice work. Ten seconds to go in this round. All that hard work in training camp, all those hours in the gym. Right now between rounds, Crawford's grabbing one last breath before he goes out and does it again. It's paying off. Yeah, right now he's glad he got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. He wasn't then, but now he's glad he got up at 5 in the morning and ran those five miles. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Muevate. for 12 and they're closing in on going the full distance final round Lopez is in a tough spot big big shot comes crashing home what a hook to the body and he is down and in bad shape fight. Crawford's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. your winner by knockout now I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening yeah bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight for Teddy Atlas I'm Joe Tessitore have yourself a great night